What's up, my basketball adults? We did it, my friends. One of us finally took a W. We can only handle so many times when our significant other tells us that the BBC she's seeing her knocked her up before we decide to take up revenge on an innocent group of children. But here we have a magician that finally, finally took one for the team. Now the article here in question is about a person who flips watches, specifically Rolexes. Now I myself have amassed a small little watch collection just to make up for the fact that I've never seen a woman naked. We have some Casios, we have some Seikos, we have some knockoffs of Rolexes from 1960. We also have some communist Chinese shit that I bought because it looked cool. Did you notice what's missing from my lineup? That's right, a Rolex. And that's because I'm a professional magician. Have you seen us in public? We're pathetic. Nobody thinks that our lives matter when one of us dies of an overdose. But yet one of us took this and said, no, not anymore. Moi, j'avais la 126, 116. Laurent Mattel has been flipping Rolex watches for the past 10 years. He doesn't like to make sales in public, preferring to meet people at his home, which is equipped with cameras. I asked him to come over here because I have a camera. So I mean, I'm protecting myself this way. And that was good because I have this guy on camera. That's the most retarded thing I've ever heard in my life. You could tell this guy is definitely Canadian because there's no way that that would ever fly here in the good old US of A. Ooh, I'm protected here because I have the camera. The camera keeps me protected. The camera keeps me protected when I'm getting stabbed by an immigrant or a, or a white person. And also in your home, you're gonna bring people in, strangers into your home. This is what happens when your prime minister is a male model. But unfortunately, this guy was a magi magician. In November, when he sold a watch for $15,000, the buyer arrived wearing a baseball cap and a medical mask. One of my favorite things about COVID-19 is that we've made it normal to wear surgical masks in public. So now all you have to do is slap on a surgical mask, put on some shades and a hat, and you're D.B. Cooper. But Mattel says his polite manner reassured him. You can see this magic pocket is right here. The man was carrying a black pouch. He took an envelope of money out, removed an elastic, and gave it to Mattel, who counted the money before the man put it back in the envelope. He left. I put the money in my desk and one hour after, I just went in the envelope to open it and put the money somewhere else. This is how I realized I was the, the victim. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. Didn't think you had one, huh? Didn't think you had one in you, an L. Because of your security camera, you're safe. One of us finally said enough is enough. I can't make enough money doing a, a Pick Cake Magic Academy where uh, only one White Claw a month, that's $5. The equivalent of $5 gets you access to all this content over 1,500 videos. And I'm always uploading new content. Uh, uh, that's not enough, all right? So I'm gonna take a W and steal a Roly. Usually in places like Baltimore, you have a BBC, not only take your significant other, but knock you out and then steal your Roly. Here in Canada, because they're so polite, they actually perform a magic trick. Magician John Vincelli demonstrates how easily the switch could happen. And uh, let me uh, just give you the elastic. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, did I leave it in the bag? No. It is under the bag. All right. Here you go. Thank you very much. No problem. I literally just did this. Came back out. No, it's not there. And oh, it's under the bag. But is it a theft or a fraud? After initially approving his claim, Mattel's insurance company later disputed it, arguing he had handed over the watch willingly. Eventually, Mattel did receive $10,000 compensation. He says he's heard from others on Facebook who believe they have been duped by the same trickster. It's what you get for being Canadian. This guy honestly is based as fuck. This is what I'm talking about. We need more of these guys. Obviously, I'm being satirical right now, and in no way do these words actually reflect actions that I'm having you take. But we need more W's as magicians. And this guy has taken nothing but W's. And all this guy knows is one trick. That's all it takes. So let this be a lesson to you guys that are wondering, wow, should I learn a bunch of tricks? Should I learn this or that? No, all you need is one trick. Theft. When I see you again, when I see you again, when I see you again, when I see you See you again. See you again. See you again.